I want to talk a little bit about DeepSeek and why it has just sent shockwaves through the tech world. In an industry where success usually means more, more money, more power, more compute, DeepSeek has just flipped the script. Instead of relying on brute force, they embrace the key ingredients of innovation, scarcity, constraints, and time pressure. So if you haven't been following the story, DeepSeek is a Chinese artificial intelligence company that built a world-class AI model, rivaling things like OpenAI's ChatGBT and Anthropic's Claude, but all without access to NVIDIA's best chips or billion-dollar budgets. But this isn't a story about AI. It's a masterclass in innovation. When conventional approaches fail, new ideas emerge. And here is what DeepSeek did that was brilliant. If we look at the rapid growth of most of the successful AI models, they've been following a linear mindset. Throw more GPUs at the problem, train on bigger data sets, and expect better results. DeepSeek took a different approach. Instead of adding inefficiency at scale, they optimized every layer of the process to achieve more with less. So what did they do differently? First, DeepSeek used a technique called mixture of experts. So normally AI models like ChatGBT 3.5 activate every part of the model, no matter how simple or complex the task is. This is like turning on every single one of the lights in a building when you only want to access one room. It's a waste of energy, it's a waste of resources. DeepSeek took a smarter approach. Instead of running the entire model for every query, they designed their AI to selectively activate only the parts or the experts that were relevant to the task at hand. This drastically reduces compute costs, which refers to the amount of processing power and therefore the amount of electricity and the amount of expensive hardware needed to run the AI. Lower compute costs means models can be trained and used more efficiently, making AI more accessible and scalable without requiring massive amounts of power and infrastructure. Next, they address memory issues. Now, memory is one of AI's biggest bottlenecks. Every time an AI model processes information, it needs to store large amounts of data, specifically key value pairs that help it understand context and recall previous parts of a conversation or task. The problem is, as context windows grow larger, the memory required to store this information skyrockets, making AI slower and more expensive to run. DeepSeek solved this by developing something called multi-head latent attention, a technique that compresses these key value pairs dramatically, reducing memory usage while still preserving accuracy. Think of it like using shorthand instead of writing out full sentences. You still capture the essential meaning, but with far less storage or space. By optimizing memory this way, DeepSeek made their AI more efficient, allowing it to handle complex tasks without the massive hardware requirements that usually hold models back. And thirdly, they optimized their hardware by changing the way that their GPUs communicated with each other. So normally AI models rely on software called CUDA to manage this, but CUDA has built-in limitations. Instead, DeepSeek used PTX, an assembly level programming language that interacts directly with the GPU hardware to rewrite how the chips processed information. This allowed them to push the weaker NVIDIA H800 chips that they had to perform much more like the top tier chips that they didn't have. These weren't just efficiency tweaks, they fundamentally redefined what's possible in AI training. So DeepSeek isn't just building a more efficient model, it's tackling some of the major sustainability challenges that have long been a concern in the rapidly expanding AI sector. By optimizing efficiency and minimizing the environmental footprint, they're actually paving a way for a more sustainable future, addressing the energy and the resource demands that have characterized other big AI models. So what lessons can we all learn from this? When we have unlimited budgets and time, we tend to default to linear problem solving, doing more of what's worked before. Constraints force non-linear thinking new strategies, unconventional approaches, and breakthrough ideas. And this is where innovation thrives. So thanks DeepSeek for reminding us all that innovation is not about how rich you are or how much you have, but about changing your mindset.